friend, I found you on the World of Technology channel. Today we will talk about the most amazing ways to make different objects. Sit comfortably so you don't miss the highlights of the video. And of course don't forget to break the barrel. And if you are not subscribed to this channel, do not hesitate to do so. Let's begin. The forging processes for the manufacture of metal parts are incredibly varied as well as the dimensions. The shape and purpose of these pieces vary. In factories around the world, different metals are processed every day such as iron, titanium and aluminum. Because the metal has a very high hardness before it can be processed, it should reach the forging temperature. Each metal has its own temperature. It depends on its physical and chemical properties and to shape the iron it is heated to 8001250 degrees Celsius copper is processed when heated to 650 degrees and forging of aluminum takes place. At a temperature of 400 480 degrees Celsius there are different types of forging such as making strong steam and hydraulic stamping and manual forging. If we summarize the whole process of forging metal and the manufacture of parts, they will fall into four stages. First heat the metal to the desired temperature. Second pressing this material because there are gaps inside. Immediately after the ovens, they are compacted with hammer blows. The third method is to give the details the desired shape and the softer the metal, the easier it is to work with. And the last stage is leveling the uneven surface. Audi Q5. The cars of large and well-known companies such as Audi are built in factories where manual work is closely linked to automated work. Here's how this Audi Q5 was created. The material of the case is made of aluminum and to form from its several parts a press is used which creates a load of 81 tons. Absolutely every detail is checked by workers specially trained to detect defects, especially at this plant. 670 robotic technologies work to produce up to 150,000 cars a year. Thanks to them, all the parts are assembled quickly and gradually, after which they take on the appearance of a car that we all know. Each robotic arm has its own purpose. For example, some move the parts and others weld them together. The assembled housing is loaded into a pool with a special liquid with anti-corrosion properties. After drying, it is painted and assembled to the end by humans and robots. The final stage of production is to check the quality of the machine. Manufacture of glass at factories. It all starts with raw materials such as sodium ash sand and other components. For example, the paint and dyes are mixed and then sent to the oven so that the mass of the powder turns into a thick liquid. It should be heated to a temperature of about 1500 degrees. Then other special scissors cut the hot glass to get one piece machined parts. The molten glass droplets are sent to the pouring machine, these being special capsules with a metal core inside them. The liquid bottle spreads over the gaps and thus takes the shape of a bottle. Although the products look finished, they still have to go through several processing steps. The bottles that have already cooled are reheated only this time at a temperature of only 300 degrees Celsius. This process helps to eliminate the pressure in the glass due to which the bottles may break. The last step is to spray the glass. With this process the bottle will be much more resistant to scratches. Lego Toys the first piece for the Lego manufacturer was made in 1949. In all these years the pieces have been made to fit. A piece made 50 years ago will fit perfectly with a newly created one. This is the result of careful control and profitable production steps at various factories around the world. Lego toys are made using the same technology. The main material for their manufacture is plastic granules. Interestingly, the granules themselves are colorless white or black. From the warehouse they reach the very center of the production diversion workshop. There, special machines produce these toys 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Various paints are added to these pieces. 
Then the raw material is to be heated to a temperature of 230-310 degrees Celsius after heating, the granules turn into a mixture similar to toothpaste. Then this paste enters the launcher where Lego pieces appear under the influence of high pressure. What remains after their manufacture is processed immediately and put back into production. What kind of shape will the piece have? This process is is determined by the interchangeable patterns. Thanks to them, the details have an exact size. Boxes filled with finished parts are shipped to the next warehouse. There are countless boxes in stores, but it is worth noting that the whole system is automated when for a certain set some specific elements are needed. The robot finds the necessary box on its own and transports it to its place. ATM As all ATMs have a similar construction, they are made according to the same principle. The device consists of two sections. In the lower one there is a steel safe where the money is kept and the upper section is equipped with everything users need to perform an operation such as a card reader, a panel with buttons and a monitor. Most non-electrical parts that are used to assemble ATMs are built in sheet steel factories. Workers put the board on a cutter which in turn is controlled by an electrical program using a steel laser. The necessary details for assembly are cut after which the metal parts are necessarily loaded in a basin with a special liquid that will protect them from rust in the future. All these components will be used to assemble the upper section of the ATM. Once it has been installed, the workers start fixing the heaviest electrical parts manually. Then the next step is to lower the upper section onto a prefabricated safe. By the way, the thickness of these walls can reach up to 5 centimeters. When all the components of the ATM are ready, they are connected to each other to form the ATM that everyone is used to packing in walnuts. When you take a bag of sweets or nuts from the shelf of any store, have you ever wondered who makes sure that the weight written on the package matches the amount of contents inside? If so, then the next piece of equipment we will present to you will be the answer to all your questions. This is a bag filling machine developed by a Czech company. The whole filling process is divided into several stages. The first step is to divide the products into equal quantities. The video demonstrates the sorting of nuts, but this machine can work with different sweets, for example. Each of the pipes is equipped with scales. Thus all portions have the same weight. The second step is direct packaging. The device works with a long plastic bag. Pour the measured amount of nuts inside and then the bag is sealed. The given procedure is repeated several times and its speed is adjusted. It depends on the needs of the manufacturer and the capabilities of the machine. With a power of almost 300 repetitions per minute, this automated device offers excellent opportunities to the factory because it works with bags of different sizes from 50 to 300 millimeters ink. Here's how to make ink that is intended for use in a wide variety of industries. Any pattern of text drawings on paper or cardboard that we see around is bent with these wonderful paints. A Canadian company and showed the production processes and the many varieties of colors used by designers and printers that are based on four wonderful colors that are magna yellow intact cyan and black. The black color in this set is of the utmost importance because it is responsible for the brightness of other colors. Only two ingredients are used to create the paints. The first being the pigment that contains the color and looks like a colored powder and the second is the binder with the appearance of a thick and sticky substance. It all starts with the process of combining the pigment and the anthology in a large tank and then mixing them with an industrial mixer. The tank has a heating system because in a warm state the mixture becomes more liquid and mixes better. The next step is grinding. The fact that the particles of this pigment is determined by the interchangeable patterns. Thanks to them, the details have an exact size. Boxes filled with finished parts are shipped to the next warehouse. There are countless boxes in stores, 
but it is worth noting that the whole system is automated when for a certain set some specific elements are needed. The robot finds the necessary box on its own and transports it to its place. ATM As all ATMs have a similar construction, they are made according to the same principle. The device consists of two sections. In the lower one there is a steel safe where the money is kept and the upper section is equipped with everything users need to perform an operation such as a card reader. A panel with buttons and a monitor. Most non-electrical parts that are used to assemble ATMs are built in sheet steel factories. Workers put the board on a cutter which in turn is controlled by an electrical program using a steel laser. The necessary details for assembly are cut, after which the metal parts are necessarily loaded in a basin with a special liquid that will protect them from rust in the future. All these components will be used to assemble the upper section of the ATM. Once it has been installed, the workers start fixing the heaviest electrical parts manually. Then the next step is to lower the upper section onto a prefabricated safe. By the way, the thickness of these walls can reach up to 5 centimeters. When all the components of the ATM are ready, they are connected to each other to form the ATM that everyone is used to packing in walnuts. When you take a bag of sweets or nuts from the shelf of any store, have you ever wondered who makes sure that the weight written on the package matches the amount of contents inside? If so, then the next piece of equipment we will present to you will be the answer to all your questions. This is a bag filling machine developed by a Czech company. The whole filling process is divided into several stages. The first step is to divide the products into equal quantities. The video demonstrates the sorting of nuts, but this machine can work with different sweets, for example. Each of the pipes is equipped with scales. Thus all portions have the same weight. The second step is direct packaging. The device works with a long plastic bag. Pour the measured amount of nuts inside and then the bag is sealed. The given procedure is repeated several times and its speed is adjusted. It depends on the needs of the manufacturer and the capabilities of the machine. With a power of almost 300 repetitions per minute, this automated device offers excellent opportunities to the factory because it works with bags of different sizes from 50 to 300 millimeters ink. Here's how to make ink that is intended for use in a wide variety of industries. Any pattern of text drawings on paper or cardboard that we see around is bent with these wonderful paints. A Canadian company and showed the production processes and the many varieties of colors used by designers and printers that are based on four wonderful colors that are magna yellow intact cyan and black. The black color in this set is of utmost importance because it is responsible for the brightness of other colors. Only two ingredients are used to create the paints. The first being the pigment that contains the color and looks like a colored powder and the second is the binder with the appearance of a thick and sticky substance. It all starts with the process of combining the pigment and the anthology in a large tank and then mixing them with an industrial mixer. The tank has a heating system because in a warm state the mixture becomes more liquid and mixes better. The next step is grinding. The fact that the particles of this pigment are mixed in a solid mixture. The paint will have a uniform color only if they manage to mix well those pieces of pigment formed inside the tank.